Hello and welcome to another Python programming lesson. We're up to lesson 13. That's writing and appending to text files. So in the last lesson we looked at reading in from text files, but now we're going to look at creating our own and editing the contents of ones that we've already got. To write a file to disk, you need to open it in write mode. So this line here will look very similar to what we did in the previous lesson. My file equals open. Then we've got the path of the file, the name of the file, and the file extension. But this time we're opening it in write mode. So basically what this is doing is saying create a new file called cars.txt and create it in this folder. Very important, this is creating a new file with the name that you're supplying. If there's already a file with the same name in that location, it will be overwritten. So you can't use write mode to add to an existing text file because it'll create a new one. Once we've opened it, we use the write function to prepare text to be written to file. So once we've got that first line done, the open line, then we're going to use dot write, and then inside the brackets, inside speech marks, we add whatever we're looking to be kind of written to disk. So in this case, we've got just the name of a car and then the new line character, because as you see here, we want each car to be on a new line. So Ford, new line, Honda, new line, Mitsubishi, new line, Toyota. But then once we've finished all the write commands, we've got to remember to include our dot close. The file is not actually written until you close it. Dot write just prepares that information to be written to disk. If it crashes, or it doesn't execute the myfile.close, maybe you forgot to include it, it won't actually be written and when you try and open the file there won't be anything there. You've got to do dot .close so it'll actually write all that content to the disk. So that one of the issues students sometimes have is once they've written their program they run it and nothing happens because you're not displaying anything on screen. You're writing everything to a text file. So you have to go into, in this case, you'd have to go into the files folder and then open the cars.txt file to actually see the contents. If you want your program to output the contents of this new file, just so you can check that it's working, you need to do it just like we did in the previous lesson. You can open the file in read mode, then you can read it in using, say, dot .read or dot .read line or dot .read lines, and then you can just print out that contents. What if you want to write the data held in an array, or list in Python, as we call it? So we've got something like this. We've got data, which is uh, a list, and there we go. We've got all the contents, one, two, three, four, five. Easy solution might just be to say my file equals open files dot write txt write mode and then I could just say dot write data and write everything at once. The trouble with that is it's going to look a bit untidy once we have it in the text file because once we write it to the text file it's going to include things like those square brackets and then we're going to have to remove them when we read it back in. If you're writing the contents of a list slash array it's much better to do a for loop. Loop through every element in the list, and then just write each element by itself, and then add a separator between them, so it's not all just one big text string. So you can add a space, or you can add a comma, or something in between each item of data. And this means when you come to actually read in the data, it's much easier to read it out, there's less characters and things you need to strip out, and it's easier to stick it back into an array later. Now, that's okay if we're writing all the information to a new text file, but what happens if we have an existing file and we just want to add something to the end of it? Well, in that case, you need to open it in append mode. So append just means add to the end. So again, we just say read or write, we're going to open it in append mode. And now when we do dot write, the computer knows to write whatever I've told it to the end of the text file. So you see, if this is my original cars.txt file, when I do write new line character plus bmw, then my file.close, when I reopen the file, I'm going to find it's added a new car to the list. So we're using append mode to add something to the end of an existing text file. Often I find that students get confused between write mode and append mode. Write mode is when you want to create a new text file. Append mode is when you already have a text file and you want to add something to the end. 
So that's writing, that's appending. Not too difficult. Uh, again, make sure you remember to close the file. Again, if you don't close the file, it's not going to append anything, it's not going to write anything. That's kind of the biggest mistake the students make in this regard. I'll be back soon with another lesson. Good luck with your studies, and have a good day. Bye-bye.